Good day, everyone. Yeah, and today you're welcome to the Cetrus Vlog family. Right here from the Cetrus Foundation Hub, we have something so so interesting today. Hmm. Can you imagine? We just discovered a wonderful talent right here on the soil of Africa, and it's by name David. David is just 11 years old and he's an auto mechanic dealing and uh, as in solving challenges that are far, far beyond him. And it's just like the story of the small David and the giant Goliath. And David is repairing trucks and different things. So you just got to hear from the author's mouth. Okay. Good day, everyone. My name is David. I am in primary school going to just one. I used to repair trucks, boat cars. I used to repair any kind of motor, Mark, Mandizel, Iveco, Kanya, Owo. So David, what got you interested in becoming an auto mechanic? That you started repairing all these giant Goliath trucks, all the trucks that I even mentioned, even me that I don't, I don't know them. So why, why did you get, what got you interested in learning to repair all these trucks and all these cars? Because I, I saw where they used to repair car, and I saw my daddy that I want to start a repair car. And that didn't happen in the 80s. He started me to repair the car. He started me to repair the car. And I said, I should come to me. When I go there, then I say, I can come. I, I can bring mineral and blood. So I'm not bring the mineral and blood. Then I say, I can start now. That is when I start repairing it. Wow! Bravo! Can you just imagine that? And that was when? That was when? You know we're in 2021 now. That was what year? Last year. 2020. Can you just imagine that? And right now, David here, our small David, is destroying the Goliath of any truck. And that's what we're saying here, that Africa has got talent. 11 years old, as small as he is, you see, some, you see him working on some trucks in this video. He is starting repairing trucks. And I heard from the dad, uh, he told us a little story that the elder ones, maybe they are reading this and that in school, they'll be making jest of this little boy that uh, you are you are reading, uh, you are learning mechanics. You know, that there is this disdain on auto mechanics, auto mechanics here in Africa. They feel they are dirty people. They go under the cars, under the truck. They are not doing well. So they are making jest of this boy. So let me ask him his reaction. David, when your elder brothers were making jest of you that you are a mechanic, how do you feel? Can you see? This is what is killing this generation. And that's why we're talking about African centric education. You see? Because a guy like this, he has the inbuilt potential of repairing anything. And he wanted to manifest it. And some persons are trying to discourage him. All because of the. Uh, when he, they said, I even heard that when he wants to touch their laptop, they will say, What would they say? They will say, You should leave it. What will you now tell them? I even heard, maybe his dad said, he will say that it is out of the money of this mechanic because the dad also happens to be a mechanic that it's from this money that we are getting you all this and i am i'm just let me tell what we'll like if there's any english like that and you know this is what we've been looking for at cetrus foundation hub and that's what we are for picking the talent of africa from the street whatever is that talent in you so far, the, the greatest thing that spoils the child is stealing. So far, you're not stealing. Anything you can do with life is a talent. If you know how to clean, you can build a mega industry out of that cleaning industry. And that's just it. And that's what we are here for, encouraging young sharp like this. So I want you to give the world a nice smile and say, I am glad I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay? I am glad what I'm Young David, what do you want people out there to do for you? How can they help you achieve this your dream? To help me to Jesus. Can you imagine this? As in this young boy here is, is really the kind of youth you are looking for. It's not that he doesn't want to go to school. 
You want to go to school and still have a skill. This is the African-centric system of education we're talking about. That your child is going to school and as presently as he's going to school, he's learning one skill, great skill that as he's just out of school, he's not going to look for jobs. He's going to create jobs. He's going to look at all the challenges we have with our cars every year and there. Africa. We will not be spending money elsewhere again. We'll have people like John David destroying the Goliath of the challenges. So, people, you are fed though. David, where is your school? Which school do you intend going to? Just finished elementary school. He's about to get into junior high. And they have to really pay for him before he does that. So, which school do you intend going to? So I've got to bring David's mom because he's just 11 years old. He might not know the cost of starting his junior high school. So I want to know because he wants to go to school and still be learning so that he's great. Welcome on the show. We are so happy for you. You have a son like this. Okay, so his mom is here and we just want to know within the neighborhood of uh, the amount he will be needing to start his junior high school. So Ma, you said he's like how much? 17,000 naira. So the equivalent in dollar will be reading on the screen. And I want to believe we're going to have real help for this young David that is doing mighty things and killing the Goliath of trucks and cars <laughs> that are having challenges here in Africa. So we'll be coming to you with more updates when we're able to raise the fund for him to start his school. And uh, as you'll be repairing more trucks, more cars. And one of these days, you can find yourself here in Nigeria. And you're going to bring your car to him. And you're going to see that what we're saying is really real. We have talent here in Africa that are wasting. But right now, with the Secret Foundation, they're not going to make it again. And this is a call out to truck owners. Do out there, if you have a truck or you know someone that has truck, to support David, you can bring your trucks to his dad. His dad is an auto mechanic. So that David's dad and himself, they can repair this truck. And by so doing, he can support this young boy in achieving his dream of becoming a great auto mechanic. And will be having great skills, great talent being built in Africa. So if you have your cars to board, and I think majorly trucks, please let's patronize them. And truck companies, who say you cannot just sit out to us and help David. So we look out to partnering with you. Thank you so very much. Yeah. So... What are you going to say to everyone out there? Thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to David's story and for reaching out and for helping. And don't forget the joy therapy on Cetra's blog. Whatever is the challenge, just make sure you're happy. That's not all that is happening globally. Globally, make sure you're happy. And next time, we're going to come to you with the update. Till we see you next time. You may like to watch this video or the catch.